Scarlet Witch, issue number five. That's right, folks. The thing that none of us ever thought would happen is happening. Wanda Maximoff is like a really well-written character. Who would have predicted such an outcome? I never would have guessed that we'd have a story that is both sexy, fun, crazy, and about bondage. Like, this is just a Wonder Woman adjacent comic, and that's what they're doing to Scarlet Witch. That is an idea I never thought would happen because for a long time, Carol Danvers was kind of positioned to be like Marvel's Wonder Woman. I know that's such like a loose term, but I guess trying it to happen here with Wanda, that's an interesting idea. This book is really fun. Now, is this the first issue of the five that doesn't have Sarah Pacelli on the art? I can't remember, but Russell Dodderman takes over doing a great job to keep the same balance and flow. I think a lot of that does have to do with Matthew Wilson's like colors. They look like they're just keeping true to what we saw before. But I, I get why Pacelli would be off the book for a bit. I hope she comes back and works on more of the book. Could be kind of cool to see. I haven't seen like the solicitations for the next few issues, but I get it. This is a daunting book and, and there's a lot you have to draw and be a part of. So getting another artist, I understand that completely. We cut back to, like, the outside of Lotkill, where we see that Scythia has made herself a new suit of armor after, like, stones that can break through her magic spells, and she's going to come in and attack Wanda. Literally moments later, because <laughs> we see that Wanda is still bleeding, and she's still rebuilding the town that was destroyed, and they get the shot back up and running. They go inside and Darcy's like, this is my fault. Let me help you get it together. I know you have like a healing charm that could help you like fix your arm, but it's kind of my fault you're in this situation. So just let me help out the best way I can. So she's starting to sew her up. And then instantly she is accosted again by Scythia. Here do you come fight. And look, most of this book is just wanda fighting scythia it looks great the art is really fluid and fun great use of colors and great use of this character everything looks great like this book alone just looks so gorgeous and incredible i have an absolute blast reading it like it is so spectacular to look at and it's a really nice fight and again it, it's just like okay Here's Wanda kind of getting the snot kicked out of her for a minute, but her magic ain't working against Scythia because she's got this armor on, so she's just going to do this all day, and she puts her fists up right to knock a few blows into Scythia with her fist. And I'm like, yep, let's do it. And Wanda does hold her own just punching this lady for a bit. And it's great fun. I like seeing it. It's working pretty well. This is pretty much just like a standoff for Wanda to show her. Again, I could do this all day because that's what this is. Scythia has like this blade that is like going to like kill a magic user or something. It's kind of interesting, but Wanda's just like, so if you're going to kill me, I'm going to kill you too. And holds like a little like dagger of like some magic on her fingertip up to the chin of Scythia. Just like, if you're going to stab me, I'm going to stab you. We'll both go down together. And the, it's such a, it's such a cool idea because it, it goes true to what I've been saying about Wonder Woman for a long time is that you want to tell a good Wonder Woman story, you have to lean into like that old school kind of like bondage theme, like breaking the change, even if it's just like a panel where Wonder Woman like breaks free of something. This entire issue of this book is essentially like Wanda promoting the idea, like break free of the bondage that the Bache have you in. Or if you don't like it, build your own name, build your own tribe of Bache, like do something to change what it is, you know? You don't have to be like the thing they want you to be. You can live for them or you could die for them. It's your choice to make. And that kind of gets Scythia to see a different side of things. And basically Wanda's like, yeah, I could I could have healed myself this entire time. I chose not to because I want you to see how serious this is for me. I want you to see that you can change and you can have the chance to do something new. You have to take that chance and try, which is kind of fun. Is she going to do it? Probably. We'll see what happens. But liberate yourself. Break your chains. Like, yes, that is a Wonder Woman theme. The other comic book that this reminds me of is another book I've been reading weekly and I've been covering weekly. Well, monthly, I should say, is Moon Knight. Because in the current run of Moon Knight by Jed McKay, every other issue, Mark fights like a guy. And it's like, you could work with me and we could not fight. And then half the time it's like, 
I guess you're right. We could do that. And that's exactly what this feels like, which works so much better because it allows you to establish new characters, but not have them be like, this is the big bad. They could show up anytime and we believe it. So a deal is made sparingly, essentially just like, fine, I'm going to go off into the world. Maybe I'm going to make my new Bache and we'll come back and we'll fight you later. But if we ever come back and I come for Darcy and we do a whole thing again, it's going to be on my own terms and we're going to start from scratch. So we just see that Scythia leaves and Darcy's like, okay, is it over? Did that go well? I can't tell if that went how we wanted it to. Very strange. I don't know what I'm supposed to say now or what I'm supposed to do. I, I guess I could like stay and work here for you. I don't know. I guess I could. Sure, I guess you can stay. Cool, so she stays. Darcy's going to be a character in this book again, which is fine because she's kind of fun. I'm digging that. It's a great use of the character. Like, what else would you do with her? That's kind of fun. I enjoy it. She's like, well, I'm hungry. We should get Sun Eve. But Wanda goes, I have to rebuild this town. I can't really eat right now. <laughs> I like it. Colors look fun. The costume for Wanda looks great when they're just walking down the street and everything's being rebuilt. You love to see it. They have like a flirty, fun energy. I'm here for that all day. It's looking great. We see Darcy pulls out like the low Mysterium, this weird magic rock that just showed up and now they're going to study it together. The crux of this story is going to be what's with the rock. I'm here for it. That's a cool idea. I can't wait to see where that goes. But Wanda's like, great, I'm going to start rebuilding this town. I got my best gal at my side. We just fought a weird Amazon who's going to break her chains and liberate her people. We're here for it. Very fun. Moves faster than the past couple issues of this book where it doesn't delve into like the psyche of Wanda and like the choices she's making for everything. It's just like, no, I was trained by the Avengers. I know how to fight you with my fists. And it's like, I want you to see that this means something to me and that you have the ability to change. So go try to change. And maybe she will. And we love it and we support it and we're here for it. It looks great. But this book also ends with a tease for what's coming up in the run. We see two guys, I guess, just hiking somewhere, drinking a six pack, just having a good time. They hear like something in like a cave somewhere and suddenly like their six pack breaks apart and it like turns into like throwing stars and like the metal cuts itself into the guys and like pierces one of their eyes. They're like, dude, this place is haunted. We got to get out of here. Haunted? Of course not. It's not a ghost. It's Magneto? Question mark? I'm not reading X-Men. I don't know where Magneto's at right now, but he looks young and powerful and i'm here for it big sexy daddy magneto I, I guess that's the era we need this to go now i'm here for it my goodness does he look intimidating as hell awesome i love it and he's sticking true to like the theme of this book which is just great looking costumes and characters in cool outfits amazing having a great time what a fun issue we kind of wrapped up this storyline it feels like we're heading to a new direction somewhere else we have the annual coming up which will be fun to see i'm here for it great book i'm enjoying it a lot i i think you should check it out if you're still hesitant me talking about it won't do it like justice because there's so many just beautiful panels and great character work the design for the characters is phenomenal so Scarlet Witch issue number five, I am going to give an eight out of 10. Now, thank you all for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.